What's up, YouTubians? Gary, VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to part four of the little DIY lightweight overland trailer build. That's not really an overland trailer yet. Give me time. Things cost money. So today, today we are going to be moving on. So what have we done? Well, part one, we took a Coleman Versa trailer, took the little fiberglass top off. Next step, and then we also made a steel structure. Second episode, we went ahead and lined the whole thing with aluminum, built the crossbars for the rooftop tent that we put on in part three. So what's next? Well, it's pretty simple. We need to start outfitting this thing. So I've got visions. I got ideas. Normally, most of the time, those get me in trouble. My wife puts me in the doghouse or bad things happen. But regardless, we're going to move forward with it. So today, we got some goodies. We got some goodies. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever been out camping and you're like, your, your, your cooler's full of water instead of ice and you don't have time to go get more ice or you can't go get more ice or somebody in the group's like, oh, volunteer and go get more ice. It's a pain, right? It's totally a pain. And then my cooler recently broke. So I'm like, I don't really want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a new cooler when I could get an electric cooler. So this is from Iceco. We've got a cooler and we've also got a slide mount. So we can mount it further up in and slide it back if we need to. Now off camera, I went ahead and installed a second one of these hatch doors. We did that the same way that we installed the front hatch door. So this will allow me to get in to the front half. We're gonna have a door on the back. The entire thing will open up like a truck topper, if you will. But this way, if I just need to get something on the cooler real quick, or something in front of the cooler, I can go through this door. Or, if we need to, drop the little tailgate, which, if you've been following this series, I said I was gonna get rid of the tailgate. We're keeping it, I just, I like it. So we can drop the tailgate, hit the button, slide the whole thing out. So, first thing we need to do, is go ahead and get this stuff unboxed, and let's get it set up and see how it fits. Now this is the Iceco VL60 Pro S. It's actually a 62 quart cooler. Very, very roomy, comes with a basket. Something I really love about this design is if you push in, oh, but what if you don't want it to open that way? Well, use the one over here. Oh, what if you want the entire thing to come off? Well, that's not a problem either very awesome hinge design very very energy efficient especially for the size this thing believe it or not vl60 pro s only draws 47 watts this thing is amazing this thing actually has volt built-in voltage protection as well so you cannot over drain your battery now on the front panel you've got your battery monitor you can set that up for your different voltage protections You've got your max mode, eco mode, adjust your temperatures, and of course you've got up front, got your DCN, your ACN, well, there we go, and in DC mode only, you've got two USB ports. So this thing is pretty freaking awesome. Not to mention there's also a plug on the back in case you don't want your wiring going up front. You've got another DC plug on the back. This thing has heavy duty handles, knurled aluminum for the grip. Very heavy duty. And of course, in your little box here, you've got your AC power plug, you've got your DC power plug, which has got your cigarette lighter on the other end. Very long cable for the DC. It also comes with spare screws, screwdriver, spare corners, a spare handle, and a spare drain plug. So you've got spare parts right from the get-go, so you don't have to contact them and go, hey, can you send me a corner it cracked? Or hey, my handle's a little wonky. You've already got it. You really kind of can't go wrong. So again, for a 62 quart cooler, only drawing 47 watts on max power, to me it's pretty impressive. So I think we need to go ahead and get this thing set up, get it in the trailer on the slide, which is right there, and check it out and see how it does. All 
All right, so first thing we need to do is figure out exactly where we want this to sit. And I kind of think uh, right about there probably be good. Still got a little bit of room up front here. So I think that what I'm going to do temporarily is use some self tappers to hold it in place and then I can pull the self tappers out and actually through bolt it with some bolts down the road. Now that's in place, we'll go ahead and set our cooler in place. And to do that, we'll slide it out. Oh, that slides like butter. Oh, that is nice. Now the kit comes with four straps, so it's just a matter of open this through, goes around the handle. And we can leave those on there. We can fish them underneath. Oh, we just maybe slide them underneath. Or we could even cut them shorter too. I don't really think it's gonna matter. Now let's do that on the other side. Now it's just a matter of lifting up the handle. She's locked in place. It's got two different positions and it will lock fully out as well. So just lift the handle up to move it in and out. Well, that pretty much covers the install. It's installed. That slider, I cannot believe how smooth and buttery that thing moves. And again, I'll pull those self tappers out later down the road. And actually go ahead and through bolt it and we'll get some big fat fender washers and do that but i i'm really impressed with this so far and what's really cool is i can open up my side access door and bam i can get in real quick if i need to or i can slide it forward and access things in the front i mean it's it's very versatile this way very versatile i'm excited to use this i really am excited to use this but i do want to say real quick thank you to ice co for sending this out help and support this project it really means a lot there is actually a discount code down below vw12 for 12 percent off any of their products anything on their website so make sure you hit them up now what are we going to use to power this it's a really great question i got an idea so i've actually been in communication with elect tech for a little while now and lo and behold timing was right everything is correct look at this oh we have ta -da, a 12 volt 100 amp amp hour life pro battery lithium phosphate battery with a built-in battery mo uh, management system this thing is going to be cool this will definitely power everything we need little touch of a button bam shows you exactly how much power you have and the current voltage you, you really can't go wrong even comes with the mounting hardware for your terminals and positive and negative boots for your terminals. So let's go slap that baby in there. So unfortunately, due to the odd size of this battery, I had to custom build a little box here just to be able to hold it. But we'll be able to drop this puppy right down in there. Close the door. Latch it shut. Bada bing, bada boom. We're safe. Now, we know this will power that cooler and some other cool ideas. Time to get started on some electrical. What do you say? Uh, before we get started on that though, I really want to see this cooler work. So AC plug, plug it in. Oh, that's the DC port. That's the AC port. Plug it in, plug it in. We'll hit power. No, got to push and hold. There we go. Currently says it's 63, set it to 36. It's on max cooling. We can drop it down to eco, but no need. We're plugged into AC. And honestly, you're gonna want you're gonna want it on max anyway when you're first dropping the temp, and then once it's at temp and you're on battery, you can switch it over to eco. So we'll just kind of let us do its thing and go ahead and start some electrical.
kind of cramped in here, so I'm doing my best, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook up our positive side first because we have a inline breaker right here and I wanna make sure we get that squared away. So we run our power over to our panel. So that's gonna come there. And I don't have the negative hooked up so we don't have to worry about anything shorting to the battery. Nothing's gonna short out. So that's gonna come down around. Go ahead and mark this. I'm going to go ahead and take this one back off, put a new end on it. You guys died, but I brought you back. So welcome back. Let me show you kind of where we're at and where we left off, if you don't mind. So in the little bit of time that we were uh, doing all this, she's down, happy, satisfied, and that's pretty much it. So here's what, we're, what I did. So I went ahead and pulled and ran the cord, zip tied it in place so it can't pull out, ran it across there, ran it around and back and around. So if we come over here, we got everything mounted. We've got our master breaker right there, which is, I believe, a 60 amp. This, again, is number eight wire running over to the main fuse block. And all, the only thing I have hooked up right now is the fridge. So let's go turn it off real quick, unplug the AC power, and see if I've done okay. So, oh, wrong button. Power button. There we go. It is no longer plugged in. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and scoot this back in because I want to see how that cable does. Locked into place. Nice. All right. So right now our breaker is off. Yep, it's off. So I'll go ahead and pop in a fuse right there. Go ahead and turn main breaker on. Well, nothing blew up. All right. Well... Time to test it out. Did I break it? Push for power. Ta-da! Look at that. We are powered up on battery now. Nice, very nice. Yes, I know, I got pigtails. Got a couple different sets of pigtails. So these are SAE connectors. I put some butyl behind it, just like we did when we did the doors. That way I've got a way to power some 12 volt accessories outside. And I have one here that will be powering up into the tent. So I can have a light up here. I can charge accessories up here, phones up here, whatever. And not have to worry about running off a battery pack like I am currently because you guys died. Anyway, I appreciate Iceco for sending out the cooler and the slide and Elect Tech for sending out the battery. I do appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break and then I'm going to go ahead and get crack a lacking and get some more of this electrical done.
I tell you what, that's a tight squeeze in there for me. It's a good thing we're not sleeping in there and we're sleeping on top. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put a pin in it for here. This video is already getting pretty long and I appreciate your time and I appreciate you being here. We've got everything wired in. We've got our little front lights in. We've got our rear lights in. Cooler wired in. We've got up front there on the front, we've got some SAE connectors for wires and outside power. We've got the one here for outside power. We've got our 100 amp hour battery. I ended up adding a little 200 watt inverter just that way I can charge some batteries or charge some little things if I need to and it won't draw that much power. Everything's labeled, everything's wired up. It looks decent, it's really difficult. There's no place to hide anything on this build. So it makes it kind of difficult. So again, don't forget, there'll be links down in the description below for Iceco and also for the Electech battery. Make sure you check those out. Find all that stuff on Amazon. You can go to their website, but there'll be links down below. So next, it just came in, so I'm excited. But next, we're gonna go ahead and jump on the solar setup. <laughs> so excited. And that will wrap up our electrical. But again, like I said, this video is getting pretty long. I don't want to continue wasting your time. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for sticking around. Make sure you check out all the links below, including some awesome different YouTube friends, affiliate links, website, the whole nine yards. Guys, till the next time, be kind and be good.